You know, in the ninth chapter of the Gospel of Mark, it is a robust chapter. You say, what do you mean by that? There are at least 50 verses. There's so much that's happening in the ninth chapter of the Gospel of Mark. We have the transfiguration, Jesus healing a boy who's demon possessed. He's predicting his own death. And he talks about how to use the name of Jesus. But here's the thing I'd like to focus on this morning. He shares an insight on who's the greatest in the kingdom. Listen as I read from Mark chapter 9, starting in the 33rd verse from the New Living Translation. It says, After they arrived in Capernaum and settled in a house, Jesus asked his disciples, What are you discussing out on the road? But they didn't answer because they'd been arguing about which of them was the greatest. And he sat down, called the 12 disciples over to him and said, Whoever wants to be first must take last place and be the servant of everyone else. And then he put a child among them, taking the child in his arms, he said, anyone who welcomes a little child like this on my behalf welcomes me. And anyone who welcomes me welcomes not only me, but also my Father who sent me. I love this. Jesus is saying, listen, to be great in the kingdom is to be a servant. And a servant is one who's humble like a little child. A servant is one who's trusting, like a little child. And Jesus says this, listen, I'm not after position. I'm after your heart. I desire for you to desire me by serving others and welcoming others into my kingdom and in my name. And Jesus here, I don't know if you caught it, but he makes a bold statement in verse 37. He says, whoever welcomes me, not only welcomes me, but also my Father. Jesus is putting himself on the same plane as God the Father. See, Jesus is the one alone who is able to restore us to the Father. Jesus is the one who is equal with the Father. And Jesus is the one who says, come unto me, just like a little child, for I am here to rebuild and to restore.